So what is a database? A database server is usually considered to be the back-end part of any business application. And actually, the database server is considered to be one of the most critical components of any application architecture. Database servers are just servers that run special software or application on top of them to store different types of datasets that are organized into databases in database tables. A database is a collection of data and datasets organized with a certain defined structure. To make it easier to be accessed and managed, data and the databases are organized into tables. Every table is made of a set of rows and columns. And every table has an index or multiple indices to make it easier to search and fetch data within that table. There are different types of databases in database engines. Actually, there are different ways to classify databases. One way to classify databases is whether the database is a transactional database or an analytical database. A transactional database is used to store and process real-time transactions, sourced usually from one single source. These databases have sizes in the range of gigabytes, maybe terabytes of data, and they offer short response time. When we query these databases, the response time is expected to be in the range of milliseconds. Think about tables that are holding sales transactions, customer data, and records processing as examples for this type of databases. On the other hand, online analytical processing databases are considered to be another type of database that deal with large and huge data volumes. Those are usually associated with decision-making applications, applications that will be analyzing a huge set of data, analyzing historical and aggregated data that is being acquired from multiple sources. These database sizes are in the range of petabytes of data. We expect a longer response time. Usually, when we run a query against such databases, this query might be executed within a couple of seconds and even in some cases some minutes. Another way to classify databases is based on the database type and how the data is structured in the database. One type is known as relational databases while the other type is called non-relational databases. In relational databases, we deal with a collection of tables or items that have strong and pre-established relationships linking all of these tables together. We refer to these relationships in format as the database schema. Within this schema, the data is organized into tables, and every table has a well-defined structure of rows and columns. Every row represents a single data item, a record, and every column represents an attribute for data items. We use structured query language to communicate with relational databases to query and search for records or even write new transactions or update existing records. On the other hand, non-relational databases are actually a collection of unstructured, structured, or even semi-structured data. One of the most popular structures used to store data within a non-relational database is key value pairs structure. We are going to explain that in more detail in one of the next videos. However, actually, every item in this collection may represent a document or a table or anything else. And usually different items in the same or in different collections are not tightly coupled or related to each other. The schema that we follow here is much more flexible and not as rigid as the one in the relational database. You can run any database on AWS. How would that be possible? Well, you can get an EC2 instance, with the correct operating system that you need, to support your database engine. Boot your EC2 instance and then log into it, and start installing and setting up your database. But in this case, the customer will be responsible for the full setup. The customer will also be responsible for the updates and patches for the operating system and the database software. And in this case, the customer is managing the database in the same way exactly they used to run them on-premises. Is there a different way? Is there any other alternative other than that on AWS? The answer is yes. On AWS we have the concept of managed databases. Managed database services from AWS that would allow you to automate lots of the administrative tasks that you were used to doing them manually on-premises. We are going to speak about the managed database services in the next sections.